I'm Jeremy Cooley, and I'm a product marketing manager here at Atlassian. Uh, we have Jan Lawrence from Devo Team. Today, we're going to showcase the mission by highlighting Jira Service Management's place in the software development lifecycle specifically. And we're going to do that by showcasing two integrations with our core developer tools, which would be Jira Software and Bitbucket. You'll also see that this process can be quite messy. Software development can be quite a messy process. As you see here, there's tons of tasks that each team um, or each phase needs to focus on. And we're going to try to connect the dots and how Jira Service Management can streamline this process a little bit more for you. With that, I am going to pass it over to our first presenter of the day, Jan, to talk about software delivery. Thank you, Jeremy, for that great introduction. So as we said, we're going to start with looking at delivery and we've got these various different parts of that delivery process. But first of all, I just want to look at this maybe a familiar diagram to a lot of you who are working in that DevOps arena where we have this, this infinity loop so that we have our backlog and our requirements, which in the Atlassian tool set um, would generally live in Confluence. Then we have Jira software where we manage our backlog and our software development, going through to Bitbucket where we have our code changes and delivery, and then Jira service management where we can manage that change. So I don't know how many of you are old enough to remember the bad old days where developers wrote code and that was the end of the story. They wrote their code and then it was somebody else's problem. We're in the wonderful new world of DevOps. The DevOps paradigm being that everyone is responsible for a product from the code commit to the full production support. So let's see how a Latin tool set can take us from a user story in our backlog to our code change to a deployment in a production environment. I'm uh, now going to hand you over to my virtual assistant, Virtual Jan, who will give you a demo showing how we go from our story in our Jira software backlog to a code commit in Bitbucket and finally a change ticket and our deployment into production. Over to Virtual Jan. Hi all, Virtual Jan here. Here's one I made earlier. I'm going to show you how we can go from a story in Jira software to making the change in Bitbucket code, managing that through to a change request in Jira service management and then completing the deployment. Everything I'm going to show you is in relation to a very simple website. So let's have a look at that website. You can see here all our background is currently blue. So we have a request from our friends in corporate branding who have decided that our background colour should be coral. What great taste these guys have got. And we can also see here on the Jira ticket that I can have a click to create a branch. And this will take me into bucket with the linked repository it's going to create us a feature branch it's automatically added the ticket id into the branch name and click create so we now have a branch so what i'm going to do is i'm now going to check this out in source tree good so we have our branch checked out and then i'm going to open it up in vs code so I want to look at the, the index.html and I can see here, this is where we have our black hat background color set. So I'm going to remove cornflower blue and I'm going to replace that with coral. I'll save the file. Let's go back to source tree. And we can see we've got the uncommitted changes there. So let's commit them. Again, I'm going to enter the ticket ID. If I can type and a quick summary of what I've done. Around hub corals. As you can see, after 25 years in IT, I still can't type. Commit that change. And now we push it back to Bitbucket. And we can see now on our story in Jira software, 
we've got the branch and we've got the commit. If we're happy with all our changes, we can now create a pull request. Again, we can click on this directly through within Jira to make sure I'm pushing to the correct repository. What I want to do is delete the branch after the pull request is merged. We just click create pull request. So now I'm back in Bitbucket, let's have a look at the pull request. And for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to approve my own change. And then I'm going to merge by clicking the merge button. So we have a, a commit message which is generated automatically. It again includes Jira story ID. And I also have the option here to transition my Jira software story to the done status. And I want to close the source branch. So let's click merge. So our merge is complete and this should have triggered a pipeline. So let's have a look in pipelines and we can see here that we've got a pipeline in progress. We can see that our pipeline is now paused. And this is because there is a change request pending for this deployment. Now this is because we have configured this up for gated deployments. And good to see that that bit's working. So we then also have a link here to our change request ticket in Jira Service Management. Let's have a quick look at that. So that's taking us back into Jira Service Management. We want this to be a normal change in ITIL terms, i.e. it requires a start and end date times, a review, and some kind of approval prior to deployment. This is usually reserved for high impact changes or changes to business critical applications. I'm going to perform the set as normal transition, takes us into planning. So let's schedule the change. Set the planned start date for today, 12.30 of 1 p.m. And you'll see this will show up on our calendar. We can move this around here, now it's visible in the calendar. So let's just go a little bit later, 12.45, and we click save. So having done that, we can now send this for review. So this is where your cab or your change control board would come in and review all these tickets. We need to add an approver. Again, I'm going to break all the rules and approve my own change. So there's some useful little pieces of functionality here that are helpful for the change reviews. We have a risk summary. So this is showing us if there are any uh, conflicts. So any other changes scheduled in the same window or if also if there's any ongoing incidents for this particular service. All good here, all nice green ticks. So I'm going to click approve. And this has now moved us into a ready for implementation status. So if you remember back when we were configuring our integrations, we set up the gated deployment such that most deployments would only start when we're in the implementing status. I have an automation rule that will now, having got the approval, will automatically move this into the correct status when the change window opens. Okay, so now our automation rule has moved our change ticket into the implementing status. Let's have a look at our pipeline. We can see that this has now kicked off again and it is completing the deploy. The advantage of all this is we don't have to have someone hanging around waiting for the change window to open to click the button. This will all happen automatically. Your developers can go home, get some well needed rest or do something far more interesting. And there we go. Our pipeline has completed. We can see our change ticket has now moved to the completed status. You could also include some testing in your pipeline. So there's testing fails, you can create an automation rule to set a different resolution. For example, failed, testing failed, etc. And if we also go back and have a refresh on our Jira software ticket, that has also moved to done. So let's see if our change is successful. Do a refresh on our website. And all of a sudden, the background has changed to coral. So we've seen how we can go from a story in Jira software to a branch commit and pull request in Bitbucket, and finally a deployment pipeline in Bitbucket and a change ticket in Jira service management with a gated deployment. So it will only happen when the change window opens. 
Forget going away to have a cup of tea, just go home. Do something more interesting instead, while the Hall of Tools all handle the deployment for you. Back to real life, Jan. Thank you, Virtual Jan. One of the, the key points that I'd like to take away from that is that we can do everything within that same pages. We're not having to bring up different applications, open different windows. We can go seamlessly from Jira software to Bitbucket to Jira service management and back and forth. And they're all nicely linked together. We've got all our information in one place. <laughs> <laughs>